brothers do the same. What's up, Cyberhawk? So we're in a slightly different angle. Um, unfortunately, I had to change up my mic and everything set up, so I probably will end up changing it, you know, back to the usual spot. But for like the next few videos, you'll probably see me on this side. You can see some of the office behind me. And uh, today we're gonna be playing a uh, game, like a fishing game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, seeing if we can guess if uh, the email or whatever is uh, actually real or fake. If I'm not mistaken, uh, phishing is the one of the top um, cybersecurity threats or concerns because you're targeting pretty much regular people who may end up opening up, uh, you know, these random emails, clicking on stuff download a malware, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, yeah, here's a website right here is Decisions. Let's go ahead and see if we're gonna pass this or not. No, I, I haven't played this in um, like months, like maybe like six, seven months. So yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and see. So all right, today, if you're doing a new company, don't make yourself the weakest link. All right, so we're gonna see we're not gonna be the weakest link on this. Okay, I'm a little nervous, I'm a little nervous, but we're not going to cut out any of this. Uh, oh, it didn't take that long no, to say that. I don't remember it being that long. All right, let's go ahead and go over the first question. His first day, you mean IT guy, the copy machine. During the chat, he gives you a stack of papers to read about security rules. You sign the company's security charter and obtain a card with your log on credentials. All right. Uh, this is good. First time you had to document IT security, take it seriously here. You're not so sure. We have to more formally know about these settings. And guys, you can also play along with me too and just uh, answer these uh, A, B, C, D, or one, two, three, four on each question. Okay, so as you've heard today, you know, the setting gives you a stack of papers with my skin. I'm to try to take the card with the login credentials. <clears throat> Yeah, kind of learning, uh, leaning more toward B. You know about these things, you would know later rather than Apple terms. You think better just be the one brief up. Yeah, you know, the wish you had something more formal or clarify and brief it. All right, I'm kind of mixed between B and D. We're going to go with B for now. Let's see. All right, we got that one right. It's not good. Secure the policy needs to be clearly documented and acceptable. Yeah. So, yeah, he's just talking to us on the side. Uh, yeah, that didn't, that didn't look that right. Okay, question number two. You found your new workstation. You, it should be your, I'm gonna say your password, your password. It's on the card that was given to you by the IT guy. During your first connection, you are asked to change the password. You create a new password and mail it to yourself. <laughs> That's what I used to do. Uh, you get the same password as the one you received. You never know if it works. It's definitely not that one. You create a new password, correct course battery staple. Unfortunately, um, it was kind of just like common words. I won't put that on there. Yeah, brute force, super easy. And you use your favorite password, which contains numbers, uppercase, and puzzle characters. It's so secure you can use it on your pro. Uh, yeah, you shouldn't be using your same password either. But I mean, this one kind of sounds better than this one a little bit. You create a new password and mode to yourself. Dang. Which of the following is the best software we mentioned? Do you comply with? Dang, okay, you mentioned the same password. Okay, so you create a new password and mail it to yourself. Okay, they can get that. You mentioned the same password. Nah, I definitely know it's not that. You create a new password to correct. Dang, which can contain the number. Okay, let me go. So, all right, I guess out of all those, we're gonna pick that one. All right, cool, we got that one right. I'll, uh, I'm always keep password secure and confidential. Change the temporary password in the first login. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that one was hard. When I don't, wouldn't have used that one either. I would have so I just made a brand new password. Maybe put it in my password manager or something like that. All right, so the phone rings. Okay, your manager calls you into his office to speak about Project Four Five Eight. When you return to your desk, someone has changed your desktop background to a photo of a Hello Kitty tattoo. You look around, but no one seems to be laughing. 
That's good. Nobody has seen you heard the change of background before. Some someone notices you laugh as a little joke is. I take it as somewhere the combo pool prank. Uh, you call your manager and report uh, that someone changed their desktop. I'm going away from a dad. She won't make friends in the company. <laughs> you call ID to report Anderson and Hello Kitty the nickname for you there out there. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to say call the IT department. Yeah, just be on the safe side. You don't know if um, I put something on there. Um, yeah, it might just look like a harmless prank, but by not liking your workstation, anyone could have access your machine. Yeah. Um, yeah, to spread malware, spyware, or steal some sort of data, you must notify IT immediately so they can determine if there have been any harmful consequences. Yeah, that makes sense. I do remember uh, back when I was walking, uh, working in the office, and uh, yeah, a lot of people would just keep their computers online. But I mean, this was like years ago. This was like eight years ago, back before like cybersecurity really got like more mainstream with everybody. But yeah, uh, your colleague Sue's oh, your colleague Sue uh, likes a good laugh. She often sends links to funny jokes. Today's link is this. You click on the link, Sue recruit you, okay. You pay attention to the URL to avoid the strange, explicit, or objectionable sites, like, <laughs> you can say she checked out something, this one above is fun. Sue shouldn't send the links on company email, she should be something like Skype and submission and send those low. No problem, it's right on over here with any of the Right now, kind of leaning towards C. I guess if I really wanted to look on this, I would probably just copy this to like a Word document, this link, and then go to like URL uh, to ping or like a virus site, um, you know, just to check that URL. I probably wouldn't just click on it, but definitely, you know, check um, one of those sites is online, like Google, um, like check this website, URL to ping, etc., and just double check that link. Um, I think C, I think uh, C is going to be probably the second answer. I think this is going to be the first one. So we're going to go with um, the last one. Yeah, save browser roles and limits on internet usage at work are there to protect the company. Always be diligent over shortened URLs. Instant messaging is no different. Ah, okay. Even with antivirus software, you uh, risk spyware installation or browser hijacking. You know, uh, that can put your company in danger. All right. So now, okay, it looks like we got like a whole like 30 days. <clears throat> so we're almost done with the first week. We got three more weeks to go. All right, so it's Friday, 5 p.m. You've fallen behind on project 458. You need to catch up. This project involves confidential information and is the reason you were hired, okay? You have to leave now to pick up your kids or you're happy to work over the weekend. So let's read this again. It's Friday, 5 p.m. You saw them behind on Project 458. You need to catch up with confidential information. Ah, uh, okay. That was the key word. The confidential, uh, confidential information. Once again, you call IT and ask what to do. They will hate you for sure. You cover the project into your unencrypted eye. Oh, you definitely don't want to do that. If you lose the USB stick, somebody gets it. Ah, oh, man, that's game over right there. Uh, you mail the project to your personal now nah, I can't do that either I mean if they get hacked XYZ use your own Dropbox account again I mean your um, the Dropbox can get messed up too so let's go ahead and go with uh, A yeah IT will happy they organize a secure remote access substation a secure way to transfer company files yep cool 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 so now we're looking good the first week we're looking good the first week all right let's see if we can get past the second week Let's see if I'm still the weakest link or not. We got a lot of different ones to pick on this too, so. Let us see. The town before again is having one of the worst winners in quite a long time. We received the following email. Due to the especially bad weather, we're committed to our employee safety. We are in the process of upgrading our remote access gateway so that everybody has the opportunity to work from home Please click the link below to install the new software. You will be asked to enter your, your credentials before continuing. All right, let's reread this. Italian working and having the floor square. I think it's a following letter that's especially bad one over there. Okay, 
So it is kind of looking suspect already. Um, it's probably going to get a phone call from uh, like IT or anything like that. That's the first thing I'm thinking about. So let's see. It's telling them to another cheat game before they email to another verify. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, ask your colleague what they did before Carol. I mean, they could have messed up too, so that wouldn't help. Click and check that the page itself looks like a normal page. I mean, if you already click and it's like malware, you kind of already messed up. So, no, try and see what the page URL is. Nah, be happy you won't have to get to work in a bad way. They you keep going. Upgrade as ass, encourage others to do the same. Okay, so I don't know what happened to my freaking uh, phone. Anyway, we're gonna continue. Um, so we were at after colleague what they did before. Okay, check. Click the check that the page itself looks like a normal company page. Yeah, we already messed up. Try and see what the page URL is, and be happy she won't have to get to work in a bad weather. All right. So yeah, let's go ahead and go with the. Uh, let's forward that over to IT so they can check that for us. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, this is a phishing email scam designed to install malicious software. Okay. Yeah, we're on it. We're on it. Okay. We're on day 10 of the month. You go to the office of your colleague to ask for a file. He is away from his desk, but has left his workstation unlocked. Ah, oh, snap. Ah, oh, snap. Excellent. Time to take revenge and change the desktop pass, uh, desktop background. And you're sure it was him. And did a your workstation. Don't mess with Hello Kitty. Yeah, we're going to click on now. Nah, I'm playing with you guys. Let's see. You like your session and come back later. You grab the information uh, you need from his computer. Plus, leave a note saying you copy the file you need it. <laughs> you come back later. Time for a coffee. You shut down the computer and leave a note. Um, yeah, we'll just lock his session. But we'll just come back later. Bam, guys. We got three. We got three thumbs up on that. Yeah, once again, the uh, risk of an un unlocked uh, workstation, anyone could have access to machine uh, or a network it has access to the spare malware. Don't be tempted to pull a prank. <laughs> you must only lock his session. Don't shut it down. You risk losing an unsafe file. Exactly. That's why we're thinking too. We had some stuff up <clears throat> and then we lost all that. Uh, and like they can take us back a few hours in the office. Uh, letting them know what you found. All right, cool, cool, cool. And we're on day 11. You're going to lost your work smartphone in the middle of a busy day. Dang. There's a possibility you left the device somewhere safe. You know it will get completely wiped by your employer if you report it missing and it then found. Straight away check if you left it somewhere safe for them or if you not yet completed a new level anchor. <laughs> or for me it will be a Marvel Snap. I still gotta make some videos on that some more. Um, on my gaming channel. Wait until the end of the day. You can have a look at and report it tomorrow. Need it. Oh, that's too late. That's too late. Wait a few days. <laughs> if that's too late either. Somebody already stole it. You kind of already messed up. Uh, report it straight away. You may not want some of those risk counts. <laughs> hey, now actually, that's another way to think about it. You know, if your phone is wiped, then you don't have to worry about any of those air rated pictures coming out. So yeah, we're gonna um, yeah, we're gonna do that one. Yeah, you should report missing devices immediately, yeah, so that they can be wiped of all data. I do uh, immediately check is not only obvious places, but don't waste time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you can check your immediate places real quick, but yeah, you shouldn't be wasting you know 30 minutes an hour plus on that. All right, so we're in the last day of the second week. Let's see if we can get this right and keep this freaking going. You need to work on things again over the weekend. You call IT to request uh, remote access. Unfortunately, it's too late to have your request for the weekend authorized. Ooh, you choose to come to the office on Saturday. Well, from there, very good to foil up for your mother. I'm gonna pick that one just for that. Uh, you give up on this on this occasion. Is your weekend? Yeah, yeah. Um, you remember your friend and colleague said they were from all the from home. You asked her to lend your I'll let her your access that uh, detail so you can catch up with the work. Yeah, it's definitely bad. You shouldn't be changing uh, login uh, information. I was watching a good video from um, Darknet Diaries where like the whole like the mayor of like the town and like several of his like employees were all using the exact same password 
and like emails, like an administrator, um, I guess credentials that they were using that was connected to like the uh, police department's um, like infrastructure. It was a crazy story. If I um, if I find that again, I'm gonna definitely link that in the comments. It was wild, but yeah, you definitely don't want to do that. Uh, you must copy the project into your own unencrypted. You know what? Yes, yeah, is B. Oh, result. Okay, M medium. Okay, too late to organize a, uh, a remote, but don't expose your employees to major. Wait, wait, which one did I pick? Maybe I picked the wrong. Dang. Well, I guess when I'm looking at the uh, at the re-edit, I'll be able to read read that. What? But uh, check the office open weekend if there was subscription in place of hours. All right, cool, cool, cool. So. I think we're still doing pretty good. We haven't gotten any X's yet. I believe you get it like super bad. You get like an X or maybe like two or three X's. So I think we're still, I think we're still doing pretty good. All right, guys. So we're almost done. We're on the uh, second half only here on the right side. First thing Monday morning as you park your car, you see a USB key lying on the ground in the car park. Uh, super. Check with your boss and ask keep it for home. You're filming all with me story for music. Of course, guys, that's the first thing you do. It's truly broken. You live on the floor. Check what's on it first. It's full of determination. <laughs> um, uh, check what's on it first. Yeah, like, I would probably just leave it or, like, throw it in the trash. I'm thinking the answer on this one is going to be uh, to, like, throw it in the trash and or maybe, like, give it to, like, your ID department to, like, verify uh, maybe they can look at the cameras and see who dropped it. I'm going to say none of the above. Alright. An attack attempt with malware and fake the USB. It sticks, yeah. Perpetrators hope employees will plug it in. Yes. Um, that's one of the reasons I didn't want to pick uh, just leaving it by itself. Just for the fact that someone else can come and get it. Alright, we're on day 16. Uh, you're close to finishing project 4-5-8. Alright, we're still on that. And need 2% to the board of directors. Compelling visuals in your presentation will really help wow the board. Whilst you have no budget to buy something like Adobe Photoshop. Oh man, I love me some Adobe Photoshop. Your friend has acquired a version he can share with you. Okay, let's just reread read that in my head and close the finishing. And mm -hmm. compelling visuals in your presentation will really help wow the board. I have no budget to buy something. Mm -hmm. Okay, no other company you work with has ever had a problem using Adobe Show on your PC. Okay. And this one is just a solid of random stuff. Mm, okay. Yeah, you recognize that the chat of the software not flashing correctly, but it's worth the risk. You're sure they'll be impressed with the visual result and buy the real version out there. Look for other ways to wild the board. No Adobe Photoshop. No presentation since the company buys you a license. No probably identifiers. <laughs> like so. I think that's what a lot of people think. Um, you know, hey, I just got my identifiers on so I can do whatever and uh, no matter where back getting into trouble. So I guess we're going to look for other ways. Now, to be fair, I think another answer, like on these, I don't think it's just like one answer. I think you can, I think there's like multiple ones from like 100% or like an A grade, B grade, C grade, D grade. I think this one probably will be an A grade, but I think this one, assisting that um, the company buys you a license, I think that's probably going to be like a B, but we're going to go for the A. Okay, cool. I'm thinking that's the A, but hey, maybe you guys play this, you can get the other one and see how many thumbs up you get. But yeah, saying aside from the moral and ethical arguments of not using licensed software, you indeed do risk the software not actually working. However, the real risk of installing bootleg copies or pirated ones is that you run the risk of infecting your PC. Whilst antivirus software is important, it cannot reach 100% protection exactly. All right, guys, let's see. It has been decided that a contract programmer working with your team on a temporary basis is not going to be given a full-time contract. His project is nearing completion and no other suitable work is available at the moment. HR will notify him today that his contract will finish and that he will be permitted to finish out the week, allowing him to finish any work needed. All right, this is already kind of something bad, giving him access for a full week. If he wanted to do some malicious stuff, he could do a ton of that right now. Now, yeah, I guess you got like an IT team or whatever. They can be like really like auditing and really just looking at this guy really heavily. But nah, yeah. Um, when they fire him, they should take him out of the office. 
So let's see the, the um, choices we got. Okay, on this, but the company should like and remove his network account once he finished his last day. Keep his network account open for 30 more days. You're hoping he will be back to continue. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have done this. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of companies have done this. That's why they need to go ahead and hire me so I can make sure you're right. Uh, let's object to the fact that the contract will be finished out of the week. Oh, you can pick multiple. Oh, wow, guys. Guys, you can pick multiple. Oh, my gosh. I have, I have not been reading this this whole time. Bruh. <laughs> so, yeah, we don't get 100%. We don't get 100%. Because of that, but I think we'll still do pretty good. Um, lock his account prior to HR notifying the contract that his servers will no longer be needed. Yeah, ask HR they can export the individual off the premises. Yeah, object to the fact that the contractor uh, the fact that he's it out the week. Yeah, we're gonna object to the fact that he's gonna finish out the week. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, okay, let's shoot. Yeah, let's put these three. Ah, uh, look at that, we got three. We got three thumbs up, guys. We've been... I cannot believe that, but yeah. Um, pretty much exactly what I just said earlier. Uh, we shouldn't have him, um, you know, still being able to access things. If he can come back to his, um, his computer, he can, like, download himself or put some malware on the computers. So, yeah, you definitely want to escort him out. All right, can we pick multiple? Okay, this one we're going to pick one. Okay, yeah, I got to double check that now. So you go for lunch with the head receptionist. She receives a call from a new starter in her team. An exterminator has arrived and needs access to the building. Your company does routinely work. Like they're, they're messing up on this. Your company does routine work. Like bro, they need to hire me to like fix the typos on this. So your company does routine work with a pest control company to tackle an ongoing problem. Okay, because the next planned visit was not until the next week, the head receptionist doesn't know what to do and ask your advice. Okay, let me just look over that one more time. That typo just kept throwing me off. So you go to lunch with the head receptionist. She receives a call from a new starter and her team. Several has arrived and these assets are building. Not doing until next week. Okay, okay. So yeah, this is... Like the first thing I would think on this is like maybe our company is doing like a pen test. Like a live pen test to see if we're gonna act let these people come in. The second thing I would think is this is not a uh, test, and this is like like these guys are really trying to sell our stuff. But either or, they're not getting it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not letting these guys come in. So yeah, don't let the exterminator in. Ask for the receptionist checks the paperwork. It looks in order. Yeah, I mean you can fake documents so easily now. Ask the visitor to ring his office and double check. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Some, uh, I suggest the receptionist find out what's going on by ringing the exterminator the company. I mean, they can have somebody fake at the company that you call. Uh, because she knows the company r routine works with uh, this exterminator company, she should thank the receptionist for checking and agree to let him in. Nope. So, yeah, let's stop him. Wait, what? Wait, wait, God, did we. Wait, did we. Wait, did I read that correctly or did I let him come in? Um, an attack courage is posing as a server to try to physically breach. Yeah. Proprietary information on the internet it makes it easy to tell. But we will slash the process follow up and help protect the right thing, including point spoof call made by attacker. I'm sure you make the call. Oh, wow. Okay. 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 So it's saying I should, I should call from people. That was my mistake. Okay. So I got one wrong. Well, somewhat. I mean, hey, at least we didn't get hacked by me. At least we didn't get breached by me maybe i should have read those a couple more times but i don't feel bad for that one i feel like they should give me half points because i mean we didn't get we didn't get breached i mean we could always have exterminators come like the next day like it isn't that serious all right so we're on the friday it looks like so i've been running a security awareness program some employees on your team still deliberately ignore the rules but nearly always for Quasi legitimate reasons, uh, such as using personal USB sticks to transfer files outside to a partner meeting. All right, that's already kind of looking bad. Uh, which should you do? Select one or more. So we can pick two on this or three. Okay, now they're running a security order. Some employees in your team 
Dio just like really okay. So that this happens, our trail tackling militia behavior. No, continue reminding and educating your police. Yeah, we're gonna continue um, showing them videos and different things of that nature. Openly and consistently reprimand your employees. Continue. Yeah, I mean you gotta go ahead and reprimand. <laughs> and this is keep ignoring the rules, man. We can we can lose all our data. You know we can lose millions and billions. Find a workable solution. Open a free job box and show files to it. Hmm. Hey. Yeah. Ah, that one. I know these two in the middle are good. This could be another check. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna stick with just these two. Okay, so maybe we're gonna get a third one, but let's see. Careless users are just as much as a threat as malicious ones. Continue educating your employees to stop them just finding them simple. Work with IT to find secure ways to solve pretty problems rather than finding your own insecure methods such as personal file sharing options. Okay, cool, cool. So we're still looking good. All right, looks like we're on the last two days. Let's see if we can go ahead and uh, continue this and hopefully pass this uh, little game. You're waiting at the airport. A friend sends you a link to a new popular business app for your work Android smartphone. The app looks super cool and you're sure your company could use this app to work better. Um, recommend the app to your ID department. Okay. Download the app, show a way to test it out. I don't know about that just yet. Download the app, show a way to test it out and check its uh, pertinence before recommending it to your ID department. Check the airport Wi-Fi. There's a care Wi-Fi. I don't have to test it out. All right, so I don't know anything about this app. Um, since, oh, oh yeah, man, look at that. He's sending me a link to it. Yeah, so I was going to say initially, if this is on uh, Google Store and we're downloading it from there, I feel a whole lot safer versus me just getting a random link. So we're going to go ahead and type the ID department. Yeah, say uh, some apps contain malicious viruses designed to sell data. You should know which apps your employer approves to avoid unintentionally harming your company. Check by IT. Yeah. All right. I think this is the last day. I think uh, you arrive at work but cannot log in to your workstation. You call IT to help you. The person that answered doesn't know how to reset your password. Um. Very interesting. Very interesting. You don't know how to change the password. I can change the password now. I just learned that like two, three weeks ago. Um, well, at least with a Azure, kind of playing around with different stuff. But um, yeah, it shouldn't it shouldn't be that hard to change the password. So I'm looking at this for the sideways already. You say no, but offer to come and try to log in on his machine. You want to see for yourself if those strange guys and girls really work in the basement. Uh, I do want to pick this one just for the uh, memes. Uh, that is why you called IT. Go ahead and hopefully he can solve your problem quickly. You tell him you'll wait until someone else in the IT arrives that might know more. Competition you need to know. <laughs> and uh, ask if they can call you back when they know more. In the meantime, you can borrow colleagues log in to get on your work. He does offer to try to try your password on his machine. Nah, yeah, I didn't. I don't know how I just missed that, but yeah, that's like, I mean, I'm getting all type of red flags. So, uh, go ahead and hopefully, nah, okay, I guess we're going to just wait until somebody else from IT. Yeah. Do not tell anyone your password under any circumstances, including the IT staff. And never, of course, share passwords. The company would have a password policy in place that will securely uh, reset and issue passwords. You will never be asked for your password. Perhaps a person is not really an IT staff member, yeah. Oh wow, we're still going. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing we're going to like 30 days. So I think we're like, oh what, 24, 25 now. So I think we're almost done. All right. Now you recently uh, started receiving emails from a new uh, starter in IT. The emails contains documents concerning sensitive intellectual property from a major competitor. You question how he got the information and he reveals he downloaded them when working in his previous job at a computer networking company. The competitor was a customer that was serviced by the firm. Oh, interesting. You can use this information. It's a real use. The competitor has been. I'm pretty sure that's a lack of what a lot of companies do. 
tip off a man fed immediately. This might have him in trouble, probably just trying to help. Yeah, that one's kind of looking good. Don't tell management master not to send you these things anymore. Please. And give those documents to your boss without telling your source. You can decide whether to use them. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to pick B, even though I can see a lot of people uh, picking A and D um, in reality. Yeah, this new starter used uh, his time and his old job to download many sets and documents and record predator. However, he's also been doing the same with your company's documents in the company. Ah, uh, look at that. He's selling everybody's information. Okay. You've often asked the IT help desk for help since you started here. This is your chance to help them. Okay. You receive a call from Tina, one of the company's top sales performers. She's ill and working from home by having trouble logging into the network remotely. She asks you to reset her network password as she needs to send something to her boss, Brian. Okay, let me just look at that just briefly, real quick. <laughs> Mm, what should the following option sounds like the best? Okay. First off, this is actually uh, Tina. This is an AI bot talking to me. Got a lot of questions already. So agree straight away as a senior executive, she is likely to urgently need the access. I'm pretty sure a lot of people click this first. Ask Tina to hold whilst you ask your colleagues for more information about Tina. And who said next to you knows both Tina and Brian? Uh, just because you know them does not mean anything. Agree, but tell Tina that once she logs in, she will be prompted to change the temporary password. Uh, I mean, it's like this person is, um, this person is a um, like malicious actor. I mean, that won't help at all. I don't agree. Ask her to dial a password or reset number or come to the office. You hear sarcastic remarks like big help. If we first see it. Yeah, it's that one. The call, um, in fact, is not from Tina. Look at that, it's not from Tina. The identity of the caller has not been properly verified. So yeah, somebody fake trying to log in. Back at work after a morning conference outside, you see this urgent email. This is Miss Rose, okay, from your daughter's school principal office. Today, there has been an incident with her and another student to see a copy of the incident report we put on file, click here. Respectively, Miss Rose, on behalf of the school's principal office. We have a daughter age 12 called Megan. Um, wait, did he even get, I mean, did she even get their name right? This is Miss Roman Daughters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we never, man, they never um, even stated my daughter's name. Um, click, don't click, shut down your pretty coach. Oh. Hmm. Well, definitely don't click. Shut down your computer and go straight to school. Maybe that's and maybe that's too much. I mean, they, like they don't know my um, daughter's name, so maybe that's too much. So we'll do with the uh, don't click. Yeah. Email uh, safety. Another phishing scam designed to cost all. Do not open attachment from unknown sources. Look for the warning signs. And if in any doubt, contact your IT department, yeah. Okay, your friend Alan pops around, uh, pops around to your home. He's bought himself a brand new computer and asks your advice on how to protect it better from virus attacks, okay. Tell him to only visit popular website but avoid all popular non-cracked software download sites. Tell him to install antivirus software and install the latest updated publisher sends him on email. I don't know about the email part. Tell them to install antivirus software, turn on the automatic update feature. Yeah, that's good. Call your IT department and hand them over to Alan. Well, I mean, I'm assuming this is like my actual friend. So I, like, I'm just talking to my friend. Yeah, it's, he doesn't like, like work for me. Me contacting my IT department is not going to help out. I don't believe. Okay, yeah, we got um, that green. Yeah, sites that are probably do not mean they are secure. That's true. Virus Evolve so an updated antivirus program with the latest security patches is important. A proper way to receive security updates is to enable the automatic update. Yeah, you definitely want to keep that updated. All right, so you're changing your old Android mobile that you also use for work. Okay, buying a new device means you'll likely be disposing of your current gadget. 
you're changing your own Android mobile that you also use at work, buying a new device being limited, so you're okay. How would you ensure that it doesn't get into the wrong hands? Yeah, run the factory reset and take it to the recycling site, are you okay? Run the factory reset and give away to a local charity. That sounds nice, but um, you can mess up on the factory reset or something like that. And the information is still uh, easily accessible. Fun, identify and delete all sort of a file for your device. I mean, you can do that, but I mean, you can still get that back depending on, I guess, what type of tech you got. Head over to I, uh, head over to the work IT department. Mm, pass on to your kids. Nah, pat, uh, put it on the vice grip and drill holes through it. No, okay, now this is what I do like putting the vice grip and drill holes through it. I mean, yeah, you're just like destroying it yourself. I do like that. Hand it over to the work ID department. I do like that one too. Maybe they can um, salvage the fallen, make the environment a better place. Oh man, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at these two. This one and this one. Because I can see myself handing it over to the IT department and they can do their thing. However, if I just destroy this thing, ah, uh, damn, I don't let me like be disposed of occur. Ah, man. I'm assuming I already contacted IT prior so they can change my password information over. However, this could be a trick question because I actually uh, was kind of in something similar to this back when I worked from home to, um, contact or to connect to my VPN from the house I had to um, go through like this like prompt or uh, Google Authenticator or something like that uh, through my phone so when I got my new phone I still had to keep both phones so I could transfer all the information over so I'm gonna say head over to ID department and I'm assuming they would help me out with the transferring of things and then I can destroy the phone so we're gonna go with that Alright, data is only destroyed using specialist software that your IT department will have. Factory uh, reset, no guarantee, yeah. Drilling holes might be successful, but not something we will recommend. Okay, okay, so I'm on the right path. They're not kind of, again, been in, like a similar um, uh, instance in my life. So you receive an, er an alert that your credentials, login, password are being used by someone else to connect to the network at machine. Uh, WKS005, what do you do? Okay, yeah, IT immediately, ignore the alert. Like, Optimus just pop up as the prompt flags. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a ton of people do that. Uh, probably nothing, you share your details with your colleague, and you know they can't access when you are using your login. Now nah, you ask your IT department where the machine is and go get the back. <laughs> well, this one would be good, but again, you may not know if like, they have like a gun or something like that. And you're like in a workspace, so you don't have a gun on you. I guess depending on maybe where you work, but if you work in an office, I doubt you have a gun on you. So we're gonna just talk to IT and let them handle that. Yeah. <clears throat> well done. All right. Your actions have helped protect the company from a security breach. You're certainly not the weakest security link. You have a good level of security awareness. Guys, we did it. We freaking passed. I think, I think we're ready to uh, go ahead and teach this to everybody. But 